right, guys, how are you doing? It's Rubia. I hope you're all doing well today. So it brings me great excitement and pleasure to introduce to you my brand new pedal board, the mothership of tone, the control center, everything that I do with Tosca and basically any other of the musical projects I'm in, bar Frog Leap, of course, with the Helix stuff. This is my new pedal board and it's basically a continuation of the previous board that I had, but now it's an actual awesome pedal board as opposed to what was, you know, the pedal train lasted me a long time, but it got messy, it got tired, as you can see from the photos. So it's nice to have a brand new pedal board, albeit slightly sad that I'm not gonna get to use it on the tours that we had uh, booked, but they're now canceled because of the whole coronavirus situation. The health of the world is more important. And instead I get to use it at home in the studio and make videos for you guys so you get to see all the sounds and awesome stuff that uh, I've been able to create with this pedal board. So really quickly, the basic gist of this pedal board is to carry on using it as I was before, but now it's way tidier, way uh, more concise and refined and it's set up and wired uh, to perfection because of course the legend that is Dan Steinhardt from Gig Rig uh, built this board for me so I'm very very happy about that and there's also a feature length kind of video on that uh, that pedal show channel which I'll put in the description box below uh, if it's out by this time this video is but either way um, yeah I went down to that pedal show headquarters and took all my pedals with me and basically we had the Schmidt Array board shipped to TPS HQ and we built it there so it's all wired in uh, but with the addition of MIDI I'm controlling my Super Kraken now um, so it's controlling the channels that I want uh, on top of all the Strime stuff as well uh, I've introduced two uh, Mission Engineering Expression pedals and of course I've introduced the wonderful Strime and Volante um, but as you can see from the close-up it's fairly similar to how it was before you may have seen the EB10 from Walrus is on there now uh, which is really nice on the clean channel and I'm using the Game Changer Audio uh, Plasma Coil, the third man Plasma Coil because it's an amazing pedal. In case you were wondering, the Cooper Sonic Germaniac does live on this pedal board, it just lives underneath with the Buffalo FX Germanium Fuzz as well, uh, my Layla P Split, uh, my TC Mimics under there. I've also added the Hyperluminal Compressor from Dark Glass Electronics because it is an absolutely wonderful compressor pedal and it uh, sounds really nice on the clean. Something else I wanted to point out is how much I'm in love with the Mission Engineer expression pedals because they have these LED bases uh, well they're going to be both LED bases but they only had one of the LED ones in at the minute so I'm going to get a second one and swap that one out but it just looks extra cool having a base that's low it's an extra 25 quid I think but it was well worth it um, for the way it looks uh, and one expression pedal controls the Volante and I can actually tell the Volante what I want the expression pedal to control so I could get it to control feedback echo level record level whatever program it to do multiple things in one sweep so that's very cool and I'm continuously learning how to use that uh, and the other expression pedal uh, at the minute is controlling the Keeley synth one for a sweep which is very cool which we'll get onto in a minute but also it controls the Mobius uh, it will control the Mobius um, as well so uh, this board is just the answer to all my functionality issues I had before and now that I can use the super Kraken with MIDI I've got a clean channel, I've got the boost, I've got the crunch, I've got the overdrive and the two masters. There's so much more to get stuck into with tones now that I've got this rig set up. As I said before, it's a shame we don't get to use it on tour, but I'm gonna spend this time uh, working it out, building, uh, perfecting the sounds for all the Tosca songs. So I just thought in this video, I would show you it uh, as basically it's brand new to me. So I'm gonna show you through the sounds I've already programmed and uh, just to keep you guys in the loop with what's going on. So without further ado, let's crack on. Okay, so we're set up on this side of the room. I've got my ML3 Carfest Burst because it's awesome with the bare knuckle in. Um, so what I'm gonna do is show you how I've rigged it for Tosca and how I was gonna rig it to use my VX100 with the MIDI stuff, just because that's what I was planning to use it for until tours got canceled. So uh, we're, we're gonna hear the VX100 into the aux box with the V30 uh, models captured by Logic. So as, as you've seen some of the close-ups already, but this is the board, the close-up cam. So we've got the two missions. Uh, this is for the Volante and this is for the Synth 1. Then we've got the G2. The MXR tap is for my bank selection. So I can literally press that and it operates bank, uh, move around the different banks. Uh, then of course you can see all the stomp boxes and the shelf underneath which we've already had a look at. We'll start with some familiar ground. So this is the main bank that I'd been using for the most time. This was kind of the main Tosca bank. So let me just show you what it sounds like. This is my main heavy sound. 
That's my main riffing tone. Then number two was my ambient patch that I used for Illumo, uh, like this. So I really, really enjoy that one. Um, that's kind of the main patch for that. Then three was a kind of less version, lesser version of that. So. A So that was the main sound I would use for like the end of Prayer Monger. It's got a really long decay in it, but something that I added was the Volante and I uh, programmed the expression pedal to just start throwing the feedback right up. So at the end of the song where it goes really mental after, uh, and the feedback that I could do that live. So I'll give you an example. So. So you get the idea there. Um, I'm still perfecting that, but the idea is that it starts to give me loads of like hypnotic feedback. So then we've got number four, which is just a clean. So this is literally just the clean sound, uh, compression EQ, and obviously reverb delay. <laughs> So that's the clean, and then I've got like a fat octave sound with gain and mid boost pushed in. This is mainly for... So that's the sort of Premonger sound and also I use it in um
So that's the heavy octave. And then this is one of my favorites. This is an ambient pad swell that I just get lost in pretty much all the time. That's my kind of ambient uh, pad sort of thing. And again, I had the Volante running into the front. And when you blend that in with some fuzz and stuff, it can be pretty moody and also pretty intense. Uh, and then finally, this is my sort of high gain uh, lead patch, uh, but also mainly for things like big sections in songs like at the end of Prayer Monger. But again, you can use it for lead. <laughs> for lead but I also use it for the end of Prayer Monger that big chord section with the but then if I had the Thunderclaw so that uh, is basically what I've played all the Tosca songs on, bar Abba Mason, which is a different bank. But what I wanted to focus on, really, hopefully we can breeze through all that stuff, is move on to one of the new banks that I've made and show you some of the cool sounds that I've come up with for that. Okay, so we've moved on. Now we're on to bank three. So again, similarities are that, you know, I've got presets one to seven along the front and then my stomp boxes are along the top. But I'm going to show you what the stomp boxes do now in isolation, but also go through the presets. So number one is always heavy riffage. <laughs> So two is the first preset, which is a little bit different. So I've got a crunch, I'm EQing it and compressing it, and I've got the Volante in front. But I've dialed the Volante out on the expression pedal, so this is how it sounds straight in. Here we go, this is the kind of lead ambient patch. ambient patch kind of ambient lead thing it's more delicate it's 
but it's nice but you can definitely feel that like it picks up on your mistakes a lot easier somehow uh, the next patch is just Larry Octave Awesomeness <laughs> So as you can hear, that's just a fat riff tone. Really, really fun. So next up, we've got another Volante expression pedal controlled super clean sound. So here you go. So that's that, and then a similar kind of thing, but different patches on the uh, timeline and the um, big sky. This one's one of my personal favourites, Expression Pedal Synth 1. Basically you get the idea, it's like off the cuff, it's a bit more difficult to kind of coordinate, but the idea would be that it's a super cool effect, sweep kind of doom, Mick Gordon vibe thing going on. Uh, yeah, and then being able to control it as well is just so much fun, so. Finally we have a lead patch, which is basically the same as the other one, but with a compressor on, so it's a bit more forgiving. <laughs>
so you get the idea there. That's using the um, compressor with the high gain channel and the reverb and delay, and that's how I get the kind of lead tones. So that's more or less how I've set up the whole G2. It's just the same thing, copy and pasted, and then I fine tweak my reverb and delays and save them to that patch. But let me show you a quick example of some of the other cool sounds we can get. So check this one out. So that would be the plasma coil. I use that specifically for a very cool sound in one of the new Tosca songs. Um, this is also a cool sound as well. Um... Another cool sound that I've got is using the high gain. I throw on the pog. And the plasma coil. Basically just a whole load of intensity, um, yeah, and then really it's a case of just swapping in and out what you want. At the minute you're not hearing any of the mimic, the Layla piece that's there just to keep the power nice and clean, uh, but really I'm still learning this thing. I mean I'm still very, very new to it. It does lots of cool things and lots of cool things that I'm yet to discover because of the way you can, you know, program the the Strymon and stuff to interact with each other, it can send patch change commands to each other and all. there's so much more to do with it but I just thought since I've got it at home I'm not going to be on tour with it, I can get to know it and I'll just bring you along for the process so I might in a month's time or two months time film another video showing you some new patches but yeah this is basically it, this is the new main gigging rig that I'm using uh, for Tosca and general band stuff where I'm not using the Helix Variax rig so with, you know, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to Martin from Schmidt Array for sending this board uh, for me to use. Very, very, very happy with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. Massive thank you to Dan for getting involved on wiring up the pedal board and helping me get the sounds and everything just nice and neat and all the rest of it. And of course Mick and, the, and that pedal show generally for all their support with this. Yeah, I just can't wait to get on the road and get to use it and, and put it to the test and just have an awesome time creating some amazing tones live on stage so one day we'll get to do that but for now it gets to chill with me in my room and we'll make some cool music with it so thank you for watching this video let me know what you think in the comment section below uh, or if you've got any other ideas or things you'd like me to use this for or v do some YouTube content with it let me know any suggestions welcome but put them in the comment section below uh, I'll link to the board model and Schmidt array in the description box like subscribe and share and I will see you all very soon.